hello guys and welcome back to the channel are you looking for a powerful easy to use pdf editor that ticks all the boxes say hello to tenorship pd knob pdf editor whether it is editing converting or organizing your pdfs this tool has got you covered in today's video we will explore its amazing features and why it might just be the perfect solution for all your pdf needs so let's get started and to start with, all you need is to just click on the link in the description and you will be brought in to this very platform. Okay, this is Tenorshare PDNode platform. You can see down here, it is available for free download. It is available for Mac operating system and for Windows as well. You can find the version depending on what operating system you're working on. It's going to automatically detect and you can just go ahead and download and install it. The reading is easy and installation is pretty, pretty easy as well. So once you're done downloading, you can just go ahead, come over to your launch pad and you can just search for PDNOP. You can see it over here, PDNOP PDF editor, I have just installed mine. So once you open it, this is where you'll be welcomed with okay so you can see different kind of uh, quick tools that you can have access to for example you can do use the pd knob ai the pdf to word conversion to pdf uh, to ppt conversion and ocr to pdf conversion all right so let's start by opening a pdf document to see the wonders of this very software let's come to open pdf over here and you can navigate to wherever you have this pdf within your document let's say i have this sample pdf and you can just go ahead click to open it and I've opened it right away. Now, one of the key things you should pay attention to is once you open a PDF, you can edit it just like the way you edit your Microsoft Word document. And you can see the looks. Firstly, at the top left, you can see this hand tool. It enables you to pan within the document. You can use it to move up or down or to navigate to wherever you want to move. And this pointer also enables you to highlight or select a text during your editing. And then you have uh, the highlighter, just like the way you do have highlighters in your notebooks. You can just select different colors and you can highlight some sections of the document if you're interested in highlighting some important sections. So this is very helpful and handy when editing or studying a particular PDF document and you can mark important points and so on. You can use different color and you can use custom color as well from here. Once you click, you can come to custom color and you can see you can select from the available uh, colors from here if you don't want from the ones that are available right here. And you have stickers. You can select on stickers of different types. One of the key things I like about this software is you have these, um, these cool stickers. Um, you can see them of different types. You can select any one of them and you can just go ahead, click and then attach it to wherever you want to attach it within your document. You can customize it to make it a bit bigger or smaller and you can position it wherever you want to position at any given point you can decide to change the position and it's uh, it's perfect for that so you have quite a number of stickers that you can see from numbers to years new years okay as you are approaching the new year you can select something useful for yourself holidays the mood the mark and so on you can see quite a lot of them depending on what you are actually working on you can have the the notes sticky notes and you can just attach them anywhere within your document as well and to serve as some um, aesthetic or to add some some signs to your editing now you can edit all if you click on this edit all you can edit all the text or you can edit text only or you can edit an image within this document so let me show you how you can click edit all and then you have access to everything you can change everything for example you can click in here and you can write you can start editing directly Yeah, okay, so you can edit anything, you can add, you can remove something directly from here. You can select a section of it and edit and delete, you know, and add very easily. Um, editing becomes very easy uh, and fantastic within your document. And each text you select, you have the few, uh, option to come over here. You can change the font styles, you can change the font sizes as well. You can change the, you can uh, increase the size also manually from here, or you can add different coloration to the text. For example, I may want to add this color, or you can bold, you can italize, you can underline, you can add all of this. You can uh, align left, right, and center, and so on. And you have, you can um, uh, change the alignment as well. Change the alignment, okay? Center, left, right, and so on, okay? 
can change it directly using this. So you have most of these features to edit your document if you're interested. And once you're done, you can just click out and everything is perfect and it's accepted, okay? So you can edit of or you can edit a text only. With edit text only, you can only edit the text, okay? You can just click and you start editing your text like we've explained earlier. You can delete and add things directly very easily. And then you can edit images as well. If you want to edit just the image within the document, you can come over and check if you have any image and you can select it. And you have a range of features on what to do. You can rotate things. Okay, you can rotate it to any angle of your choice if you like. Uh, by selecting, you'll be able to see that you have this option to rotate things. You can rotate right. Also, if you want to rotate it back to where it started, and then you can have this option to replace the image if you're interested or inter uh, extract this image as a JPEG or PNG file uh, independently within your system. Or you can send backward or forward. You can do all these directly on your own. So these are very simple, simple things that you can do within your image. Okay, you can select the image as well and you can come over here. You have these other features that we've explained. You can have them over here the, within the properties and you can go ahead with the editing. Okay, you can add text by just coming over here. You can click to add your text, click, and then you can add. Hello and welcome to my channel. Okay, very easily you can see and you can select all the text that you've added and you have these bunch of controls also like we've explained earlier on. You can do a bunch of editings from here. Now you can do OCR, convert a PDF or a, a scanned text image into a readable or searchable uh, content. You can you directly convert it directly from here. Okay, and then uh, uh, another thing that you can do is you can always convert your PDF to Word to excel or to powerpoint let's try to convert this particular pdf that we have let's say yes uh, we can convert it easily um these are six pages you can just go ahead and convert this is going to convert to word but you have a range of other features other output features that if you want to convert you can convert to excel uh, word jpeg png and so on but this one we're just going to convert it to uh, pdf and then you can specify which um folder or directly you want to your um, directory that you want to save at the moment it's going to the save the source directory but you want to if you want to to use custom directly directory you can always come to custom and you can now be able to define exactly where you want it to go so for example i want to to go here i can say open okay i can just go ahead and say convert and you can see right now it's just been converted so let's just go to that particular folder and let me check what we, what we have um, converted okay and you can see it over here you can see it over here sample pdf you can just click and now this whole thing is now in um in microsoft word so you can see the power of this pd knob okay and we are back to the software you can convert to an image if you want to convert this to image or you can match pdf documents maybe you have more than one pdfs you can easily match them directly or you have a pdf that you think is big enough if you want to compress it with this particular feature you can add multiple pdf files and you can be able to uh, compress them into smaller sizes okay so that's um the basics that you can do within the software over here you can add comments to your document for example like so this feature you can underline a text using different coloration so let's select this and you can see we can underline this uh, selection or we can underline this selection uh, as you saw with during your editing and you can strike through this enables you to strike through a particular text that you've selected you can see it has just strike through this is very very handy when you are editing your documents or report from your students or so on and so on you can be able to easily enable them with this you can equally um add in some some underline or okay of uh, uh, you can add in this underlying type as well and you can add these sticky notes if you're interested like we've explained earlier on and if you are okay with a section of the work you can always use your stamp to to you can use standard business approved or sign in here you can see witness or you can just tick or you can add dynamic or they about you can have different different uh, versions but i always like to have uh, a proof a proof is very f um, perfect you can see this document has been approved so you can put this as your own uh, signature or sign that you've you are okay with the document 
At the end over here, you can add different shapes to your document, maybe a rectangle. You can click and just select and you can add a rectangle. You can change the coloration if you're interested. And then you can add an oval shape or an arrow just to define something within your work or thereabouts. Okay. So you can add different, different coloration or different features to this, to this, your PDF document. Again, you can go to edit, like we've explained earlier, you can edit your document directly from the edit. You can edit the text, add text, add images, add links, even crop an image. If you want to crop an image, add watermark. If you want to watermark this document, you can easily watermark it. No, or you can add a watermark directly from here. You can define how you want the watermark to be. And um, for example, this is confidential. Okay, you can see we've added it confidential and you can put it at the 45 degrees. Sometimes 45 degrees is better. You see confidential and you can increase the size or add in different things or the opacity of the of the watermark. Like this is 100%, but I, I usually keep it at maybe 25 uh, is better. Yeah, 25 is better. So you can see it over here. Okay, so you can play around with the sizes as well. And then you can add it across the entire document. You can see it; it's uh, clearly written. And once you're done, you can click on save. And this now has added a watermark for you. You can change the background or add in a header or footer to your document. If you want to add a header or footer, you can click to add a header or footer. Very easily, you can do that. And then over here, you can do converting. Like we've explained, you can convert to PDF, to Word, to Excel, to PowerPoint, to image. Very easily with just one click. You can convert and then the page setup you can change the view or the looks of the page you can have it to move uh, to show you in in numbers like this in, in smaller forms you can select a particular page okay and just move it or change the orientation you can extract a particular page for example i can select this and i can extract it very easily you can crop a particular page or you can insert or split a page or replace it and many other features so this is very wonderful you can use it to do quite a lot of things with your pdf document and then you can protect your pdf document you can easily uh, encrypt it and add a password to it so anyone who has a password who has this password can access your pdf document and if you don't have the password you cannot access and then you have other tools other basic tools like the merge compress and then the ocr these are very basic things that we've uh, talked about earlier on so this software is extremely useful. I challenge you to go ahead, check the description of this video, click the link, go ahead and download it and try it on your own. See how you can play around with your PDF documents and the wonders that you can do with your documents. And it has the AI feature, which enables you to, to chat with your PDF directly. You can import your PDF. Uh, you can ask questions about your PDF document and you'll be able to ask for summaries or key details within the PDF document. So uh, this actually concludes this basic tutorial about the use of PDNOB PDF editor. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and explore it and let me know in the comments what you thought, what you think about this very wonderful software. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.